This is the pathway that I took to get into cybersecurity. So to start with, you want to get IT networking fundamentals. I did an IT degree, but these days you can do something like the Course Careers IT Fundamental Certificate. They have been really good recently at helping people get IT support jobs, and getting an IT support job is a great way to build those fundamentals while getting paid, and then you can start learning your cybersecurity fundamentals. And I'm sure you've all heard of Conte Security Plus, but not just that, you also want to get the hands-on labs as well. Then you want to pick a job. This is very important. Don't try and learn every single job out there. The one you want to focus on and the best one to transition from IT support to cybersecurity is that of a cybersecurity analyst. So these are the skills that you need to learn. I'm a senior cybersecurity analyst now and I use these uh, skills on a daily basis. So SIEM, that stands for Security Information Event Management Tool. All analysts are using this. The common ones are Microsoft Sentinel, Elastic Seam and Splunk, so get familiar with these. Instant response, you want to look at the SANS instant response plan, uh, details step by step what to do during an active, uh, active cyber breach or incident. Cloud attack and defense, you want to start to understand how attackers are attacking the cloud, how to defend against it. Customer service, the reason that we put this in is because the best companies to start out in uh, when you're a beginner are managed service companies and you'll be dealing with a lot of customers. Attack types and defense techniques, so you can use something like the MITRE attack framework uh, to start to understand the latest attacks that are out there and how to actually defend against them. Threat intelligence and threat hunting, so this is hugely important. You don't need to be an expert, but threat intelligence, you're just using open source information to try and figure out the latest attacker techniques. And then threat hunting, you're often using that intelligence to search across a customer's network to understand if there's an active attacker in the network using these new um, techniques that you've discovered from threat intelligence. And then of course analyst tools, so SIEM being the major one, but of course your firewalls, endpoint detection systems, any tool that sits on a network that can help a cybersecurity analyst de detect malicious activity. Then you want to get your home projects then, so each of the home projects needs to relate to each one of these areas. And then ultimately you want to be setting up your resume using a skills-based resume applying for jobs, be consistent here, and then once you get to become an analyst, that's where you can then look to specialize further. To get access, all you need to do is go to the link on our page and you'll be presented with this page here. You can sign up for free and then you can access the career pathway call if there's spaces available.